Hi folks, Canadian Prepper here. Today we're going to talk about the top 10 things that people are going to miss if and when the grid goes down. Let's get to it. So in the luxurious modern age that we live in, there's a tendency to take things for granted. So this is just a reminder for you throughout the holiday season, while you're enjoying the many blessings of the first world, to remember that the things you enjoy the most are not God-given, and could be removed from your repertoire at a moment's notice. Alright, so I've ranked these descending in order of importance, and number 10 is going to be baths or showers. Most preppers and survivalists are cognizant of the basic provisions like food, water, shelter, all the rest, and they just presume that, you know, where they're going to be able to clean themselves somehow, or hygiene doesn't even enter a lot of people's mindset. But come the second or third day, you're really going to start to stink. And the problem with post-collapse survival as opposed to being out in the wilderness and camping, I mean, you can stink out in the bush. There's a difference between being stinky in the bush and being stinky and scavenging off the remnants of civilization. The latter is better in my opinion because nature has a way of disinfecting and decomposing and not living in such a confined space of uh, being out in the woods, moving around as opposed to a stagnant, post-collapse urban existence where people are going to be up to their knees in their own filth. It's going to be a really nasty situation. Now, number nine is going to be makeup. And this is for the ladies out there. You can kiss Instagram butt modeling goodbye. I know it's going to suck. I'm going to miss it. I really, truly am. But it's going to be a thing of the past. Your true monkey nature is going to come out. You're going to get hairier smellier you are going to age about 10 years in the span of a week and soon it's very likely that the men in your life are going to be questioning their own life choices that they've made now as men we are stinky and ugly all the time so it's not going to be as much of a fall from grace for us you're not going to really notice much of a difference we're going to grow beards and our teeth are probably going to get pretty gnarly but that's just it bad breath poor hygiene the inner animal is going to come out, especially in winter time. Our, our fur is going to grow back really fast because we're not going to have the luxury of heating. So hopefully our genetics kicks in and everybody starts to grow a lot of hair. That is, after all, the purpose of hair. So no more bikinis in the apocalypse. You will not be able to get validation via social media anymore. You're going to actually have to earn it by having a personality. All right, so number eight is going to be communication. We take it for granted. Now, if you have family members that live more than 10 miles away, you can pretty much forget about those people because you're probably never going to talk to them again. Or if you do, it's going to be immediately after the collapse because they're going to be banging down the door with all the family and friends to come and get the preps that you've hoarded. But really, though, imagine a world without landlines, without cell phones, without transportation. You're going to be severely cut off from all of your loved ones you are not going to know what the Canadian Prepper is up to. You're not going to be able to know what Survival Lily is doing over in Europe. You're not going to be able to know what the Urban Prepper is doing in Seattle or what Pastor Dowell is doing down south. You are just going to have to speculate unless you have some really good ham radio skills. And this, of course, also goes for social media. Most people are going to be in social media media withdrawal a lot of people are just going to keep their phones i think I, it'll be interesting to see how long people hold on to their phone with the hopes of them turning back on at some point i think there's going to be a lot of people walking around with uh, dead cell phones after the collapse now next number seven tied right into number eight is going to be the internet everybody has become dependent on the internet for knowledge it's the storehouse of all of human information and knowledge and without it most people are not going to be able to tie their own shoelaces so enjoy watching videos like this on your fiber optic high-speed connection while it lasts now number six in this very well could be number one a lot of people are going to be missing this after the collapse and it's going to be toilet paper there's going to be a lot of crappy do-rags line in the post collapse city streets because people didn't store toilet paper and a lot of people in north america they're not used to bidets they're not used to putting water on their butt and getting the job done like that 
So there's going to be a struggle there for a short period of time and never mind the, the sanitation issue and flush toilets. I didn't even add flush toilets to this list. That could very well be number one. But let's just lump it in here. Flush toilets and toilet paper are probably going to be something that a lot of people are going to miss. And not only that, but having that 15 minutes away, that 15 minutes away from your family, or if you're the all-American prepper, an hour and 15 minutes away from your family, your own safe haven where nobody can bother you and you can sit there on your smartphone for hours on end. That's going to be a thing in the past because every time you try to enjoy a moment to yourself, the marauders are going to be nipping at your ankles like hyenas. So when you go and sit on that porcelain throne tonight, I want you to really take in that experience. Enjoy it because it ain't God given. Because soon you're going to be considered one of the lucky ones if you have a foul smelling uncouth outhouse to sit your fat keister on but it's not going to be fat it's going to be skinny because you won't be eating much and to make things exponentially worse you're not going to be able to wash your underwear unless you're good with a washboard or you got yourself a scrubber or some other contraption if you can come across the water to do it so it's going to be a gnarly situation inside and out if you know what i'm saying and this is one of the other reasons why you're probably not even going to be that sexually attracted to a lot of people because they're just going to be too nasty. Anyways, let's move on to the next one. Number five is going to be lighting. You are going to miss lighting. When the cities go dark, boy, are they going to really go dark. And it's going to be very scary. And if you do have your lights on in your home, it's going to stand out and just draw the wrong kind of attention. So you're going to be damned if you do and damned if you don't. People really take this for granted nowadays, but you remember all those medieval movies that you watched where they had torches and candles everywhere at night in the castle? That's pretty much what it's going to be. There's not going to be that ambient light in the cities that we're accustomed to. Maybe you might get some good nights of moonlight and you're definitely going to be able to see the stars for once in your life. But besides that, you are going to be immediately thrust back into a sun-up, sun-down, diurnal sleep cycle. And you're not going to be able to see the predators lingering in the night. And this is going to be very anxiety inducing for a lot of people. So make sure you got your flashlights charged up and a way to constantly recharge them with renewable energy sources. Number four is going to be medicine. Uh, not only do many people rely on medicine in order to survive, but it's also those medications that improve our ability to manage the symptoms of illnesses which are not necessarily life-threatening but just kind of suck so forget about going to the store to get some cough syrup forget about anti-inflammatories forget about any sort of global anesthetics like tylenol and forget about antihistamines and epipens for those of those people who've been propped up by antihistamines and epipens it will be a shorter existence sad to say post collapse when all of the freakish creatures that we've suppressed with modern technology crawl out of the woodwork so be ready for that and number three and this one is kind of a joke because people like me are addicted to it and it is caffeine so if i were you i would stock up on caffeine pills because most of y'all are a long way away from latin america or wherever it is that coffee is harvested now as of 2014 85 percent of american adults consume some form of caffeine daily on average 164 milligrams per day there's going to be a lot of high strung drug addicts running around post collapse i can tell you that much right now although caffeine can be found in 60 different plants throughout the world the overwhelming majority of caffeine is going to be in places which are far away from you so get used to finding other ways to stimulate yourself and get your mind out of the gutter that's not what i'm talking about but in reference to number nine because of the stinky woman factor you're likely going to be stimulating yourself a lot more but don't worry about not falling asleep because i'm sure the fear and deprivation of shtf is going to be enough to keep you alert and on your toes now number two is food not just any kind of food every kind of food all those kinds of food that you enjoy that you can just go to the grocery store right now and pick up in a matter of five minutes for a few bucks and change kiss it goodbye folks because of foraging and a hunting you will go no more msg no more refined sugars no more of the stuff that tastes awesome but does absolutely nothing for you on a nutritional level your taste buds are going to have to adapt to the nasty ass swamp like gamey taste of nature 
and there's nothing you can do about it. So get used to it. If anything, stockpile lots of salt and sugar. That might see you through for a few years. But you better learn how to garden and raise your own animals and forage and hunt and all those things because all of your stored food supplies, after a couple of years, you're either going to use them all or they're going to be looted by hordes of starving zombies. Number one is running water. The most taken for granted thing on the planet Earth right now is running water. Water is everything. Water is absolutely everything number one for reasons i do not even need to explain every person in your household right now uses an average of 80 to 100 gallons of water a day if you are living on the grid now obviously that's going to be different in certain places where there's water restrictions but generally speaking the that's going to be cut down to probably a gallon a day if you're lucky and that's going to be for washing that's going to be for doing your business that's going to be for drinking for cooking that's not even taking into account irrigation if you need to water your crops there is an item i'm going to be reviewing in the near future it's called the waterfall barrel and uh, it's a great way to store water and this thing is built bomb proof baby so you're going to want to stick around for that anyways let me know in the comment section things that you think you're going to miss the most if and when the grid goes down they don't have to be things that you need they could just be things that you want and are not going to be able to have let me know down below thanks for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe and once again while you're indulging in the festivities of the holiday season make sure you take a moment to appreciate the wonderful technology that makes your life more livable thanks for watching canadian prepper Out. the best way to support this youtube channel is to support yourself by gearing up through CanadianPreparedness.com or BugOutRoll.ca. Premium quality gear at the best possible price using the incredibly secure and easy to use Shopify platform. We offer free shipping to the United States for orders over $200 USD and free shipping to Canada over $75. So support the channel by supporting yourself.